Hello world. In this screencast, we're going to create a field with lookup properties. And we know that lookup properties go hand in hand with combo boxes or drop down lists when a field is on a form. And any field with a limited, distinct, definable set of values is a great field for lookup properties, which in turn automatically create a combo box when that field is added to a form, either through the form wizard or in form design view. So I want to get a little bit deeper into those lookup properties and how we add them to a field. In the past screencast, we looked at the products table and design view, and we saw that both the supplier ID as well as the category ID have lookup properties. And that creates then that combo box dropdown field, both on the data sheet and then also on forms. But I want to create one of these from scratch. Furthermore, I said in the last screencast that any field that is a foreign key field, and we are looking at these two foreign key fields in the products table, are good candidates for lookup properties. And the reason for that is because that there is a defined set of values that can be entered into a foreign key field, and those values are based on this relationship between the parent table, in this case the supplier's table, and the child table, the products table. So one supplier can supply many products. One category can be listed for many products. So these foreign key fields are excellent candidates for lookup properties. But let's go ahead and create lookup fields from scratch, starting with the employees table. And we see there's no foreign key fields in the employees table. It does not have the many infinity symbol on any of these fields. Yet when I look at the employees data sheet, I see a couple good candidates for lookup properties. The title and the title of courtesy fields are both good candidates to receive lookup values because they have the same data in multiple fields. There are multiple fields with the same title, sales representative, and there are multiple fields with the same title of courtesy, Mr., Mrs., Ms., so forth. So those are both good candidates for lookup properties. And to add them, we would go to design view and click that field, and I'm going to pick that title of courtesy first, and then we can either use the lookup wizard to add lookup properties, or we can add them directly in the lookup tab. Now, in this case, they've already been added, so I'm going to wipe these out by going to the text box, display control, and if your lookup display control property is set to text box, none of these other values are filled in. And if you change that to combo box, then you can directly modify them. But by default, it's set to text box, and usually people will go through this lookup wizard to go ahead and fill out the rest of those lookup properties. So let's also do that. Let's go through the lookup wizard. Now, when you go through the lookup wizard, the first question is, where are the values in the list coming from? You can either direct that list to an existing table, or you can type in the values that you want. If you can go ahead and create a little table, sometimes you prefix it with TLU for table lookup or LU for lookup, then it's great if you can look up your field values in another table because it's really easy to add new values to that table. But for this demonstration, for this particular field, since there's only a handful of titles of courtesy that we want, I'm going to go ahead and use the I will type in the values that I want option. Next. And it's asking me, what values do you want? And so I'm going to type in the values that I know already exist in this database. And I believe it's just Dr., Mr., Mrs., and Ms. There might be other titles of courtesy, of course, but I'll show you where you can add more later if you type them into the lookup wizard. Next. And then what label do you want for your lookup field? I'm going to go with the field name. Do I want to limit the entries to the choices? I'm going to say yes. I'm not going to allow multiple values. Allowing multiple values, such as two different titles of courtesy, breaks all of your relational database rules because you would be storing two values in one field, and that's just hard for queries and reporting later. So I highly discourage that option and finish. And now we can see that we're going to be a combo box on the data sheet and on the forms. Our source where the rows is just a list of values. So if I had other titles of courtesy that I wanted to add here, I could type them in in this row source property instead of pointing to a 
on the existing table. Here's our limit to list property. And the other properties, you can read through them and click on them and read a description of what they do over here on the right. But these first three, to display it as a combo box, determine the source of the values. And in this case, it's just a list. And then provide that list of values. Those are the most important lookup properties for this field. I'm going to save this and look at it in datasheet view. And now my title of courtesy is Dr. Mr. Or Mrs. Ms. Prof. And I could add to that or modify these in this row source property. Now let's compare and contrast that to the title field. Right now it has no lookup values, but I'm going to go through the lookup wizard again. And this time I'm going to choose this first option. This is the one we want most of the time because it's the most flexible to update your values. And click next. And which table contains the values for your list? I made this little LU lookup table, lookup titles, next. And here's the only field in that lookup table. It's called title. I'm going to select it next. Do I want to sort my values? Yes. Sorting by an ascending order by the title field would be nice for my list next. And here's it's showing me the drop down list now. And all of my titles are in alphabetical order. I've widened it a bit. Great. Next. And what label do I want? Title again. And do I want to enable data integrity? Now that's a new option because I'm choosing my values from a table. And I'm going to check enable data integrity. And that sounds a lot like enforce referential integrity, doesn't it? And I want to show you specifically what this means. This is an important question that's being asked when your list is linking back to an existing table. And finish. And I'm going to save my table. And now my lookup properties again were filled out for me. My row source now is a SQL select statement, selecting the title field from the LU titles table. I'm going to save my employees table and look at it in datasheet view and look at my drop down list for my title field. And here I have inside coordinator, sales assistant, and so forth. And these values now, I'm going to close my employees table. Those values are coming from this LU titles table. So if I add another title, let's add vice president operations and save and close that. When I go back to my employees table, I'm going to now see that vice president of operations option because I added that value to the table. So that's really the big benefit of using this row source type to be table or query because now your values are coming from a table and as you know it's much easier to use a form based on a table to update those values than to go ahead and list your values out here in this row source property. In addition, when you pull your values out into a table, what Access does for you behind the scenes, if I click this All Relationships button, is that it creates this relationship between the lookup tables and the employees table. So now title is a foreign key field to the LU titles table. So one title in the LU titles table, this little lookup titles table, can be listed multiple times in the employees table. So that's how lookup properties relate to combo boxes. Foreign key fields and any field that has the same value in multiple records are great candidates for lookup properties because they create those handy drop-down lists on your sheets as well as in forms. And now you know how to use the lookup wizard to create them. You also know that the lookup wizard will create a one-to-many relationship for you behind the scenes if the values you're using for your drop-down list are stored in a table. Thank you.